everything in nature and cosmic mechanics are irreducibly simple. It said humanity really is that stupid. Oh, what an obnoxious statement that is. Yes, but is it true? It is true. Um, a bunch of people wanted me to explain, and I've touched upon this before, explain in very simplex terms what a black hole is. Since everything in the universe is force and motion, inertia and acceleration. Everything is capacitance, resistance, permeability, permittivity, magnetic permeability, dielectric permittivity. Okay? Those four things and those two principles, force and motion, inertia and acceleration, capacitance, resistance, permeability, and permittivity. Explaining what a black hole is should be really simple. It is. Let's first start off by, and I suggest really strongly to you to watch this video. He's an Australian guy with a really thick accent. He's a skinny little dude. He's very intelligent. His video is uh, just a flat-out hoot to watch. It's Stephen J. Carruthers. Um, he's a uh, physicist and uh, an expert on uh, black hole uh, math and uh, black hole astronomy. Um, he tears Einstein a new asshole. He points out the 10,000 inconsistent... I highly recommend either buying his book or at least watching his video. Very, very intelligent person extremely intelligent actually the only problem that he makes is that he spends all this time tearing down the BS of uh, the concept of what a black hole is from the standpoint of relativity and Einstein's idiots but he never replaces it with anything of his own that's okay I mean you know he's got half the picture there he's it's good that he's seen all these stupid uh, inconsistencies he's seen he's pointed out all the errors in the math of relativity regarding the black hole, but he never replaces it with anything of his own. Okay, maybe he's working on that. Anyway, now here's something that uh, humanity can't understand. We always think of uh, something uh, that has uh, mass as also having magnitude, right? Uh, water is kind of incompressible. I mean, it's slightly incompressible. If you have X amount of mass of water, it takes up X magnitude. Like, you know, one square meter of water equals X mass um, under X atmospheric pressure because water is mostly incompressible. It is slightly compressible. What if we could say, and this is beyond our understanding because we've obviously never seen anything like that in our regular conventional world, what if we were to have a mass with no magnitude? What the hell does that mean? Think of something supermassive, yet which has no magnitude. In other words, it has no visible existence. First, we have to understand what the hell magnitude is. Okay, force in motion, inertia, and acceleration. This is going to be the super simple explanation of what the hell a black hole is. At least to me. This is as dumbed down as it gets. If you don't get this, then, you know, I, I can't help you. <laughs> magnitude, magnetism, time, space, force, and divergence, and the magnitude are one and the same thing. Magnetism and magnitude are the same thing. Magnetism is centrifugal force divergence. In other words, everything which has magnitude, you know, ever heard of the, I know you grew up being taught this shit in school. Like, every atom is 99.9999999% empty space. You know, <laughs> that's kind of half true. What the, the air inside the balloon, if you will, of every atom is magnetism. Yeah, that's right, electromagnetism. I mean, every atom is a dynamo, but the actual volume in picometers of every atom is magnetism. So in other words, what gives magneti uh, magnitude and mass to everything in the universe is strictly due to magnetism. Now imagine having so much mass in one area, one topos, one Cartesian uh, area, so much incredible mass, that the acceleration is so high that it actually crosses the threshold whereby which magnitude can no longer exist. Okay? What this is, is acceleration overcoming magnitude. Okay. Everything in the universe is pressure mediation, right? Pressure mediation. Under any conventional, conceptual, stupid human, and all humans are stupid, stupid human understanding, anything that has mass has magnitude, whether it's really small or really big. But imagine something whose mass is so incredibly huge 
Therefore, the acceleration is also huge, right? Because gravity does not exist. That which we call gravity is no different than magnetic, what we call magnetic attraction. The only thing that actually differentiates out gravity, gravity is, is incoherent dielectric acceleration. Magnetism is coherent dielectric acceleration. It's the same thing that differentiates out a light from a laser. What the hell is the difference between a light and a laser? Coherency. You know, a 5 watt light bulb is useless. A 5 watt laser, however, will burn a hole in your ass. Literally. I collect lasers. 5 watt light bulb, useless. 5 watt laser, burn a hole in your ass. Yeah. Right? Right? Get it? No difference in quantity, only difference in quality. So now imagine a mass with magnitude, which now has a mass so huge, therefore the resultant acceleration, or what you incorrectly call gravity, is so high that it overcomes the ability of that mass, ability is an incorrect word, to have magnitude. When acceleration reaches a critical point, the multiplicative acceleration overcomes and overthrows the ability of force divergence, i.e. magnetism, of that mass to lend itself to any and all magnitude. And a supermass then is manifest, or manifest, you could actually say unmanifest, in actuality is end result product, is unmanifest wherein which the mass itself is transcended. So we have a mass that is divorced from magnitude, which makes no sense to the common stupid human being. Mass and magnitude, same shit, right? We have X mass, with that comes X magnitude. We have, we have X amount of water mass, it has X amount of magnitude. You know, say one square meter of water. Uh, we, we, can't, we can't even think. We, our, brain, our brain, and this, by the way, is the explanation for all the inconsistencies of the understanding of the black hole. It seems to be completely unconventional for us to understand a black hole based upon, uh, you know, conventional human understanding. It's like, we got something that's super massive here, but you can't fucking see the shit. Well, that doesn't make any sense. How is it a black hole? It's not a hole, and it's not really black. So I'm only calling it a black hole for the simplex sense is that when I say black hole, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. But it's neither a black, it's neither black, nor is it a hole. It has no Cartesian value. It has no XY coordinate. It has no magnitude. It's also not a hole either. Sure, it's a hole in space. Well, space is not a thing. As Tesla said, space has no properties. Some mass that is so super huge that its acceleration has overcome magnitude, then what we have is a supermass with no magnitude. And to the common human critter, that shit makes no sense. Mother Nature is going, it makes perfect sense. You're just, you know, you're just a bunch of dumb, bipedal humans. You're idiots. I mean, if Mother Nature could talk. And we are. Human beings are idiots. A super huge mass with no magnitude. Why? Because everything is pressure mediation. If acceleration is so high, then what it has done, it is completely overcome. Kind of like, here is, uh, I love watching a certain movie. I think it's called uh, Jack. <laughs> I, I hate to admit this. It's a jackass movie where there's a little midget in the movie and like this 600-pound chick comes in the room. He's laying on the bed and the 600-pound chick comes in the room and just, she just goes, she body slams. I mean, he's completely gone. That is what, <laughs> you want to get some, that is acceleration dominating magnitude. That is what a black hole is. Of course, a black hole is neither black nor is it a hole. Stephen J. Carruthers very succinctly points out all the stupidity of Einstein and relativity in trying to explain a black hole because the math doesn't work. Math doesn't understand counterspace. Counterspace is a principle that the human beings have not yet wrapped their brain around. It's like, well, we know and understand space. You know, we can add that shit up because it's in space. Yeah, but what you don't understand is counterspace, bitches. You people out there, especially all the morons in physics, because physics is dealing with the physical. And what is physical is mass and magnitude. Yeah, but what if we have something that is a mass but with no magnitude? Well, shit, that's where people's eyeballs cross and they want to stick them in padded rooms wearing straitjackets because that crap makes no sense to the common mind of the simplex, stupid human creature, which is what basically all humans are. That doesn't make any sense. It's super massive, but it has no magnitude. Yeah, that's right. That makes no sense. Oh, no, it makes perfect sense. It's just that your brain isn't intelligent enough to grasp it. 
<sighs> Math cannot comprehend a black hole because it's non-Cartesian. It has no existential and therefore no empirical value. That's why we call it, stupid human beings do anyway, a black hole. If we were to rename a black hole based upon logic and wisdom and based upon what we understand about electrical and field theory, you know, the real field theory, okay, the real stuff, we would call it a counterspatial sink. Well, anyway, because we're on a hole. A sink is like a sinkhole. We talk about a sinkhole. Well, let's think of a better thing to call it. We call it a counterspatial mass. We can't use a sink. It's like, well, there's something there, but you can't see it, and it sucks stuff in. No. Call it a counterspatial mass. It's a mass with no magnitude because the acceleration is so high that magnitude is not allowed to exist. It can have no Cartesian value or magnitude. Kind of like that analogy I just gave you from that crazy movie, which is really insane, where you know the 600-pound woman like body slams a little midget. <laughs> it's just you can't even see him anymore. That's what a black hole is. <laughs> There is no room, quite literally, both literally and figuratively, there's no room left for magnitude to have any footprint within reality. And by reality, I mean the reality of phenomena and magnitude that we deal in, you know? This is a mass, and it has magnitude, you know? Yeah. What if we had a mass with no magnitude? In other words, you know, I have my hand around it, but there's nothing there. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Well, from the standpoint of this, the common stupid human creature, that's, that's absolutely right. It, it, it makes no sense. Compression initiates coherency in a supermass, namely iron, and magnitude is overcome, and the threshold for uh, Cartesian uh, quantification is erased. Human beings don't understand counter space. What do you mean counter space? There have been many books written on counter space. Like, oh, go rent one. Go buy one. I don't care. As Eric Dollard uh, said, you said, you can't understand field theory without understanding counter space. That's his best quote that I, I know of, that he ever said. You can't understand field theory without understanding counter space. Eric Dollard was right. Nikola Tesla also made another statement on counter space. I'm going to stick that in the fourth edition of my book on magnetism. He didn't use the word counter space, but he said the same thing. Human beings don't get it. What we call a black hole is a omni-hyperboloid. Its accelerative nature is a hyper-Cartesian entity with no magnitude. If we understand simplex pressure mediation, where something is so supermassive that therefore the acceleration is so high, then magnetism, which is magnitude, time, space, force, and divergence, has completely been overcome. You don't get it. Magnetism and magnitude and time and space are all one and the same thing. Well, actually, they're technically uh, posterior attributes to the loss of inertia, which is magnetism, which results in space, therefore time. But these are not entities of themselves. They're shadows of the loss of inertia. Magnitude and magnetism are, however, the exact same thing. If you don't grasp that, then you're never going to understand anything. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can drop a buck or two or tell me to jump off a cliff. Either way, whatever makes you happy. Happy New Year. More wisdom to you. Start thinking and stop reading crap. Okay? Because there's a lot of crap out there. <laughs> Bye.